Hi, this is a today I would like to share the Marilyn series of e to the power of cos x. So first, we let fx be equal to e to the power of cos x. So at the point x equal to 0, e to the power of cos 0 is equal to e to the power of 1, which is e. And we differentiate with respect to x, we obtain differentiate exponent function is always get back the same thing. Remember to apply the chain rule and differentiate the cos x. So we obtain negative sine x. At the point x equal to 0, sine 0 is equal to 0. Anything times 0, we obtain 0. Then we differentiate for the second time. As we can see, we have composite function here, so we have to apply the product rule. So let u be e to the power of cos x and v be negative sine x. So we have u dv dx. Differentiate sine, we obtain cos. Remember, we have the negative there. Then we plus v du dx. So differentiate u. As we can see, the function u is exactly the same as fx. So it means that we will obtain this term again. So we have e cos x times negative sine x. So we take out the common term, we have e cos x. Negative, negative, positive. So sine square x minus cos x. At the point x equal to 0, we have sine 0 is 0. So cos 0 is 1. So negative 1 times e. So negative e. And we proceed to the third derivative. For the third derivative, again, we have composite function. So we have to apply product rule again. So we let u be e cos x and v be sine squared x minus cos x. So we have u dv dx, so power bring down, differentiate sine, we obtain cos. Then minus cos, differentiate cos, we obtain negative sine. So minus negative become plus sine x, then we plus v sine squared x minus cos x times we have e cos x differentiate u again same thing we obtain this so we just have to copy this then we have e cos x times negative sine x then we simplify we take out the common terms so as we can see we have e cos x we take out e cos x for both terms and we have sine x and sine x so we can take out sine x as well then left to cos x plus 1 so we have negative here so negative sine square x negative negative positive so we obtain e cos x sine x times 2 plus 1 so we have 3 plus 1 minus sine square x and we know that for the identity cos square x plus sine square x equal to 1 which means that 1 minus sine square x we should have cos square x Since we have another common term here, which is cos x, that we take out, 
we have e cos x sine x cos x times 3 plus cos x. We know that by using identity, sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cos x, which means that this will give us 1 over 2 sine 2x e cos x times 3 plus cos x. Okay, now let's substitute x equal to 0. As we can see, everything here times sine. However, sine 0 is equal to 0, which means that this will give us 0. Okay, let's differentiate again. So we have the fourth derivative. Okay, we let this be u and this be v. So u dv dx differentiate 3 is equal to 0. Differentiate causes negative sign plus v du dx. For this part, we have to apply another product rule. So we have this as u and this b v. So we have u dv dx plus v du dx. When we differentiate sine 2x, we obtain cos 2x and differentiate the inner function 2x using chain rule that we offset with 1 over 2, so left only cos 2x. Okay, let's simplify. We have 1 over 2 sine 2x sine x with negative e cos x. Then we plus 1 over 2 sine 2x with negative sine x e cos x times 3 plus cos x. Then we plus e cos x cos 2x times 3 plus cos x. Then we further simplify. So as we can see, for both the terms, we have the common term here. So what we have to do, we just take 1 over 2 times 2 so that we can take out 1 over 2 e cos x. So let's take out, we have 1 over 2 e cos x. Then we have sine 2x sine x this is common for both so we take out and left only one then plus three plus cos x and we plus remember we have negative for both here so we have to add a negative in front then we plus the remaining term remember we have two here so 2 cos 2x times 3 plus cos x. Which means that the fourth derivative is equal to 1 over 2 e cos x times negative sine x 
sine 2x times 1 plus 3, which is 4, plus cos x plus 2 cos 2x times 3 plus cos x. So what we want is at the point when x equal to 0. Okay, so when we substitute 0, this is equal to 1. So we have 1 over 2 times e to the power 1. Sine 0 is 0, so this part can be eliminated. Cos is equal to 1, so 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Then 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So for the inner part is 4. 4 times 2 equal to 8. So which means that we have 8 times 1 over 2, 4e. If we want more terms, then we continue to differentiate. If we feel that 3 terms is enough, or if the question is just asking for first non-zero terms, then we don't have to further differentiate. Let's now build the Marilyn series of e cos x. So e to the power of cos x is equal to the original function, which is e. So e over 0 factorial times x to the power of 0 plus the first derivative is 0. So 0 over 1 factorial times x to the power of 1 plus second derivative negative e over 2 factorial e to the power of 2 x to the power of 2 plus the third derivative again 0 0 over 3 factorial x to the power of 3 and we plus the fourth term the fourth derivative 4 e over 4 factorial times x to the power of 4 so we simplify the first term is equal to e second 0 third negative 1 over 2 e x squared third derivative 0 for we have 4 over 24 which is 1 over 6 e x to the power 4 and so on okay then we done that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you